Hi everyone, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share the latest simplicity patterns with you. So everything I talk about is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness every Friday. And if you're in the UK, do check out the link below to our newsletter where you can receive weekly news on new products, promotions and lots of exciting and inspiring inspiring content too. So let's get started with the roundup. I do just want to say as well this was really difficult to pull together because there are so many patterns in this release that I love. Like I want to make everything and I managed to whittle it down to 10 but there were some designs I had to leave out that I really love. So we've done a slideshow at the end of the video so do stay tuned for that because there's going to be lots more designs in that for you to check out. I'm going to link all the fabrics and all the patterns below so do check check out the, the links below um, in the description but let's get started with our whistle stop tour of this super exciting release from Simplicity. So the first pattern I want to talk to you about and a lot of them have got this sort of retro vibe so if anyone's been watching Daisy Jones and the Six which is set in the 70s and it's like this rock band story and there's just so many gorgeous cool retro clothes in it um, this pattern release ticks that box a lot but there are also lots of other styles as well if 70s isn't your thing lots of other styles to choose from too but the first pattern I want to share with you is Simplicity 9700 it's a 70s vintage, it's a boiler suit pattern, it's got a cute little collar, um, patch pockets, a zip up front, a little waist tie, optional waist tie, um, options for patch pockets on the legs of the trousers, nice wide leg trousers, very very now, two different sleeve options, comes in sizes from an 8 to a 26, a 26 is a 48 bust, 41 and a half inch waist and a 50 inch hip and it is designed for lightweight wool, wool flannel, tweed, garbadine, uh, linens, double knits, denims, chinos, poplins, that sort of thing but just a super cool proper retro 70s vibe to it and I thought actually it would look great sewn up in some of our seven berry cotton twill fabric. I chose this classic olive khaki sort of green colour. I think it would look really lovely sewn up in, in that um, and paired with maybe some nice gold heels for a super cool retro look. That's the first pattern I wanted to share with you. The next pattern is Simplicity 9703, which is a super pretty dress. So again, we're seeing the waist cinched in more and more now. We've previously had lots of very sort of voluminous, um, loose fitting dresses and things are getting a lot more fitted again now, but still lots of feminine, frilly, pretty details. So. This dress has got um, cups with a seam down the centre, um, it's got a little flutter um, sort of cover up which turns into the sleeve so you've got a little flutter detail on the neckline but that continues on to be a sleeve. It's got a waist seam with a gathered skirt um, with options for tiers or just a gentle sort of A-line flared skirt. Different hem lengths on this one as well, super pretty. Runs in sizes um, up to a size 20 in this pattern but actually 9704 is the same design and that runs up to um, a 30, I think it's a 38 in simplicity sizing but ultimately the sizing is a 60 inch bust, 54 and a half inch waist and a 62 inch hip so really size inclusive range there. It's designed for lovely flowy fabrics like cotton lawns, viscose, chalet, all that sort of thing and I just thought the tiered version, I kind of stole the styling off the pattern packet really but there was a lovely blue sort of florally print um, tiered version on the pattern packet and I thought all oh, this gorgeous viscose chalet that we've had in stock that I've ordered, reordered and got more of because it was so popular. It's got little bees and little cherries on it and this gorgeous little multicoloured um, floral design. I thought it would look great sewn up in that. 
The next pattern I want to share with you is 9707. This one again um, is available 9708, which runs up to the size I just mentioned, a 60 bust, 54 and a half inch waist and a 62 hip. So really size inclusive design again. And it's just your classic oversized shirt. Um, you've got different hem length options, some classic shirt features, a button down front, options for patch pockets. Um, you can go for a not really long length or a more classic um, shirt length. And oversized shirts are just so on trend this season. They're absolutely everywhere. So I thought, well, why not jump on that bandwagon? And I chose our Mystique John Caldor satin back crepe fabric and just copied the styling on the pattern packet really because I think a classic white shirt is always a nice thing to have in your wardrobe. Um, the Mystique's got like a matte side or a silkier side. You can choose whichever preference you prefer and just paired with some nice chunky jewellery. Um, I think that would look great and be a very useful, useful piece to have in your handmade wardrobe. The next pattern, definite D Daisy Jones vibes. I might seem a little bit obsessed, I probably am. Um, but yeah, really cute um, matching top and trouser set with definite retro vibes. The trousers have got a lovely wide leg. They've got a seam um, down the centre front and centre back. Um, they've got little epaulettes with a button for a nice little feature at the waist. It looks like it's a fly front zip. There's an option to make shorts and a skirt and then the lovely little button down top, um, which has got a square neckline and thin, um, th it's actually wide straps that look like they cover your bra strap and then a seam that runs from the top to the bottom. Um, very cool, lots of options for different separates. I really like this. I definitely would like to make this and have this in my handmade wardrobe. And it runs up to a size 24, which is a 46 bust, 39 waist and a 48 hip. And the fabric I chose for that is this lovely bright blue denim. I thought that would look really lovely um, sewn up in that colorway, just nice and um, quite retro again with the colour but just a really pretty pretty colour I thought that would look great in that but you could make it in lots of different things you can make it in a print if you wanted to as well it doesn't have to be denim lots of options there for that one the next pattern I wanted to share is a definite retro 70s vibe, I think, as well. 9747. Um, options for a really lovely V-neck dress with um, a um, underbust seam that sort of comes up to the centre and drops to the side, um, gathers under the bust, um, options for a long sleeve with a little trumpet frill at the hem, and then um, a centre front seam and um, the hemline comes up into like a curved V at the front. Gentle sort of A-line flared um, design skirt. You can make a version with a flounce that goes all the way around it, or you can make a top. Um, and I love the styling on the packet. What they did was made the version with the flounce, which isn't actually a dress. It's, I don't think that's a dress, it's more of a cover up. Um, they've styled it with jeans, chunky heels and it's tied at the front and then she's got her midriff exposed. Now personally I'm, I wouldn't be comfortable doing that but I thought actually I'd just wear a thin strappy vest underneath it um, or tank top um, you know and you could still have that same really lovely cool chic look of that flowing long cover up over the jeans with the heels. Thought that was a great idea um, and this one runs up to a size 26 as well which is a 48 bust 41 and a half waist and a 50 inch hip and the fabric I chose for that one is this John Caldor Paris fabric which is just the prettiest most ethereal floaty gorgeous watercolor print fabric it just drapes and moves beautifully can't remember if it's a crepe de chine or a satin um, but all the details are on the website do remember to check out all the links for these patterns and the fabrics are below and I just thought that'd make a super pretty cover up to wear styled with jeans or you could um, even just use it as a cover up on holiday as well would be another option so that was that one 
then we move on to Simplicity 9746. Another gorgeous dress. I really need to make all of these dresses for this summer. So goodness knows how I'm going to find time to do that. But love the design on this one. Um, so you've got an asymmetric design where you've got a band that comes up and ties on one shoulder. And then it's got gathered, the bodice is gathered under the band gathered at the waist it looks like it's an elasticated waist and then a tiered skirt and you've got different length options you've also got an option for a crossover front with the ties at the shoulder or a one shoulder version with a shorter skirt with just a little hem ruffle really pretty perfect for holidays something I would wear loads and loads and loads in the summer this one runs up to a 24, which is a 46 bust, 39 waist and a 48 hip. And it's designed for things like cotton lawns, um, rayons, chalet, that sort of thing. And I chose this beautiful cotton lawn fabric um, with like a leafy um, foliage type print. It's a white background with a really pretty cornflowery blue, or it's probably a bit more vibrant than cornflower blue print on it I think that would work perfectly and it would be an awesome day dress for the summer brilliant for barbecues and that sort of thing and then the next pattern I wanted to share with you is simplicity 9742 um, this one also goes up to the larger size range as well i think yes it does so you can always get also get, you can get this up to a 60 inch bust 54 and a half waist and 62 hip um three different views on this one you've got options for like a shirt dress with a um gathered gathers above the bust um grown on sleeve uh, princess seams and then a skirt with some box pleats at the front um, or you've got an option for a really cute sundress which is buttoned down as well with nice thick straps um, and sort of knee length and then there's also an option for a longer length sundress with thick halter straps so different options there all gorgeous personally I want the sundress in my wardrobe like now um, and yeah I told you this one runs up to the larger size range again this is designed for cottons and that sort of thing and the fabric I chose for this one is this gorgeous gorgeous print it's a cotton lawn I think the sundress would look amazing in this I just love the multicolor design on this again quite a retro vibe which I really like um, and I would make one of the short so I would make the short sundress in that fabric and then finally the last pattern I wanted to share with you I think my mum might, might have actually made in the 70s she's always told me about an apron style dress that she made with a big patch pocket on the front that wrapped around your waist and tied um, she's always talked about it always said how much she loved it and I think this is the pattern it's simplicity 9739 I'm going to check with her um, but it just it's exactly what she described to me looks like a super simple sew there's one main pattern piece and as I just said um, it can tie ties in a halter neck at the back it's got a square sort of neckline across the front and then it's got waist ties which cross over and you can either tie at the front or the back um, and it's like a wrap around dress it's got an option for a big patch pocket an option um, for a halter length uh, sorry maxi length dress or a knee length dress um, and this one runs up to size extra large which is a 44 bust 37 waist and 46 hip and this one you can make in cottons denims um knits flat double knits sorry flannels that sort of thing so my preference would be to make it in a nice indigo denim we've got a lighter weight indigo denim on the website which i'll link below for you and then you can layer it up with a t-shirt underneath and i think i'm gonna have to make that dress because you know my mom has always talked about it and i'm sure that's the one so and it's a super easy quick sew as well so i'm just going to get that in my wardrobe but i hope you've enjoyed that today don't forget we've got the slideshow of all the other designs that I couldn't include because there were just too many that I liked. Um, if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.